Hello modding neighbors. I'm here for a quick little tutorial how to show you guys how to get one of the Hello Neighbor switches. I took the picture switch for this one and one of your assets to basically talk to each other. Alright, so without any further ado, let's start this. So first things first, I'm gonna just delete. Yes, yes. And I'm going to delete all of this so I am where you guys are. Alright. <clears throat> so, first things first is you're going to need a blueprint. Make a blueprint wherever you want. I'm just making a blueprint so that I have the pivot point exactly where I wanted it to be. And for me, it's just easier that way. So, BP underscore, let's call it big wall. Alright, open it up. And I'm going to need this later, but let me close it for now. Alright, so first things first, I want an arrow just so I know where the front is. Okay. And next thing is a static mesh. Oh, yeah. Over here. I'm going to put a cube. Uh, if you can't find cube sorry, in your static meshes, just hit the view options over here and check show engine content. All right, cube, cube. All right. So now that we have that, let's size her up to look like a wall. About that ish. Right about here. And I'm lining it up to this because this is going to be the axis, the axis of your moving object. Oops. All right. So that is. Make sure it's flush, or else it will float when you try to set it down. Okay. So save that. Open back your level and what we're gonna need is a switch so in here just search for switch and right here I'm gonna take this picture frame and select it hit duplicate and call it whatever you want to call it uh, picture uh, just so I can find all right so take it and put that in your world and I forgot to put our fake wall <clears throat> beautiful fake wall we got here and let's just put it there it doesn't really matter for scaling for now all right so over here just hit the edit blueprint if it hasn't already opened like mine did. Let's take a quick little look. We have event begin play. We have a couple things here. What we're going to need is the event hit and the event on action. So take these five buddies over here, stretch them out, hit variables over here on the left side, and call it something that you'll remember. Uh, picture unlocked. Hit the little I button over here. Compile and drag it and set. Control W it three times so that we have four copies of it. And drag, drag, drag it. Drag it. Drag. Alright. And boom. Now, what you're going to want to do is set this to on. Don't touch this one. On and don't touch this one. Take these, Control W, and drag them down to these ones here to the event hit. Take all these four, drag them out, 
and do the exact same thing that you did to the previous one. A little tedious. There you go. Alright, now that's done, compile and save your blueprint. Now, what we're going to need is to go back to this level here, and up here at the top, hit Blueprints, Open Level Blueprint. Okay, I got a bunch of stuff. Yours should be all empty. Uh, you should have a node called Event Tick that's just free-floating. If it's not there, just right-click and type in Event Tick. All right. Uh, if you're going to do multiple of these, I suggest that you put a sequence. If you don't, well, you can just go straight to casting it. But I'm putting in one because I got a couple in here. And you could just add a few pins if you have more to check. So drag off the event tick or your sequence, depending on which one you did. And we're going to cast to switch. picture what did we call it I called it second so make sure that you get the exact one that you got and then inside of your level make sure it's selected right click create reference pull and then get owner of the switch Alright, connect return value to the object wildcard, and as BP switcher picture second, pull out, and if you remember the variables that we created over here with the little eyeball, you're going to want to get this variable. So we're getting this variable from this blueprint, and we're putting it into the level blueprint. Alright. So get picture unlocked. All right. Uh, like that. Over here in variables, we're going to have to make a new variable. And I just call it unlocked. So I know that it's the one that's in here. And we set it. Okay. Take the picture unlock and put it into this one. Take this white pin and put it into here. I got a lot of spaghetti strings. Oof, people are going to hate me. Okay. Now from here, we're going to branch, which is just an if statement. We're checking if it's true. Pull plug. If it's true, we're going to add a timeline. Call it whatever you want. I'm going to call it moving door. Double click it. Hit F. Length. Whoa. Sorry about that. Length. Two seconds. Oh, I forgot. That's what it wanted. It wanted me to call it something. Uh, whoops. Ah, too quick. Speed. All right. Over here, right click. Add keyframe. Put it to zero, zero, and right click, add keyframe. Now you want to put the time length that we put. So two, and I'm going to put it to 90. It might be negative 90, I'm not sure, but we'll see. Hit these two little zoom, zoom, control, click both of these to select them both. Right click and click auto. This will smooth it out, make it a bit more natural. All right, so now we go back to our event graph over here. Take the faults, connect it to reverse. Go back to our level. Select your wall. Right click, create reference, pull, set world rotation of default scene root. 
Whoops, I'm starting to lag. Update. Connect it. I'm really lagging. Okay. Uh, over here, new rotation. Right click it and split struct. There we go. Take the speed. And I'm going to say it's yaw that I want. I'm not sure. I think it's yeah. Compile. Let's take a look. She ever plays? Come on. Don't let me down. Alright, so. I got it. Going the wrong way. Leave. Press play. And there you have it. That's all you need. If you want to change the materials of uh, your your uh, fake wall here, you're gonna have to do it in here. Otherwise, uh, I'll have to make another tutorial to show how to make uh, some uh, variables that you'll be able to see within your details panel. Anyways, that'll be it. Happy modding, and uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. All right, ciao.